Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Zoe here if you're new, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to holiday makeup and hair routine. So I'm first going in with my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer, just to moisturize on my face, and then I'm going in with my NYX Shine Killer Primer, and this is just one of my favorite primers to mattify my face and smooth it out before I start my makeup. I'm then going in with my favorite foundation, which is the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Cadiz. And this is my favorite foundation just because it's super lightweight. It lets my skin still look very radiant, and but it's also super natural. Like it still looks very much so like my skin. It's not too heavy. It's not too cakey. It's literally my favorite, probably top three foundations. So I'm just putting that on with my Real Techniques uh, sponge. I'm then going in with my new favorite brow product, which is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. And the cool thing about this product is that it is dual sided. Um, so one side is kind of a felt tip situation, which allows you to get more fine hair like strokes. And I like to go in with that first, just to get my brows more of a fluffier appearance. And then the other side of it is a regular pencil. And I basically use that just to darken up any areas that just need to be filled in a little bit more. I really do think that you guys should try this product. It really never disappoints me every time, and I feel like this is the only product that gets my brows super perfect the way that I want them. I'm going in with my NARS concealer just to clean up my brows, but the shade that I'm using is medium slash dark two or caramel. And I, this is also the same concealer that I go in and use to conceal my face. So I'm going to be putting it under my eyes and on my T-zone and then blending it out with my Real Technique sponge like I did with my foundation. And honestly, I think this concealer and the foundation pair so flawlessly together. It blends super duper well and it looks super natural. well and then i'm going in with my favorite setting powder and it is the dermablend illuminating banana powder when i tell you guys this is the best setting powder i have ever used zero flashback it leaves my face super flawless afterwards hands down probably will never use another setting powder again because dermablend just does it for me um but i leave that on for about two minutes and then i brush it off and after i brush it off i go in with my nyx california beaming in the shade the oc i believe yes the oc and i go in and i um contour my cheekbones and then after i contour my cheekbones with that i like to go in with my milani soleil bronzer and i like to use that for my nose contour reason being is that the california beaming is a little intense um and i think this one's a little bit more lightweight so it's better for a nose contour so it's not as dramatic and harsh so i go in and contour my nose really lightly with that and then i go in with my milani rose doro blush and i love this blush and i'm basically going to be putting this on my cheekbones and also on my nose and i kind of drag it all the way across my face just to give that effect of like when it's cold outside and your nose turns red you guys know what i'm talking about um and then after that i'm going in with my Too faced better than sex mascara and i'm gonna put that on before i put on my lashes And then I'm going in with my Ardell lashes in the style 113 and my duo lash glue, which is the black lash glue. And I'm just gonna be applying my lashes. Yeah. 
After that, I'm going with my highlighter, and I basically, this is my go-to highlighter. I mixed two ColourPop loose highlighters in the shade Dewdrop in Nomi, um, and I'm just going to be putting that on my cheekbones as well as on the tip of my nose and under the highlight points under my brows. I'm then going in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner, and I'm just using that to re-darken my moles on my face. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Brown Lip Liner, and I'm just lining my lips. And then after that, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. You guys already know this was like the most famous red lip that dropped a couple years ago. Um, and I'm just basically using that as my red lip today. I don't like the applicator that it comes with So I am using my own small brush just so I can have a little bit more control over the application process Then I'm going in with my max fix plus in the rose scent and just setting my face So before I get into my hair, I did want to come and talk to you guys about an amazing product and it would be perfect for the holiday season as a gift for any special person in your life and it is basically the brand called Dossier. So what Dossier is, it's basically an affordable fragrance brand where they take luxury perfumes and remake the formula and then sell it for a fraction of the price, which I think is amazing, especially, you know, with uh, the coronavirus and everything going on. Not everybody's budget is what it used to be. In life, they have fragrances for men and women. Some cute and simplistic packaging which I am obsessed with comes with a small tester bottle so that you can test the perfume out see if you like it and if you don't like it you can return it for free within 30 days which again I think is amazing and the fragrance that I personally have is um, inspired by Dior Jador if you are looking for a dupe for Dior Jador very much so spot on it smells so freaking good basically get a $150 perfume for only $30. I'm going to have the link to their website right down below and you can also use my discount code which I'm going to pop up on the screen um, to get some money off of your purchase. But yes, I just wanted to come and show you guys that before I start my hair and I hope you guys check out Dossier because I promise you it's so worth it. And we're back. Now for the hair, I am going to be applying extensions today um, just to kind of get my hair to look a little bit more full. I do have a whole video just dedicated on how I apply my extensions. So if you guys wanted to see that, you can press the eye icon on the top of the screen. Um, but I'm just quickly putting those in and filling up. I think I put three of them in the back and then one small one on each side of my head. And I did want to go in with that Aaliyah-esque type of swoop side bang that's really popular right now. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to part the front section of my hair um, in the back just to make sure that it's super neat and everything lays properly. Um, so I'm parting that and then I'm basically going to take a flat wave brush and I'm going to brush it down as flat as possible. And then I'm going to tuck it behind my ear and bobby pin it. I think I used about two bobby pin it, pins to secure it. And I'm going in to straighten my hair and I am bumping in the ends or curling in the ends um, just to also go along with that kind of like popular swooped effect on the bottom. So I'm just uh, flat ironing the ends of my hair in towards me. Um, I didn't do it too dramatic just because the hair is pretty long, um, but just to add, you know, a little razzle dazzle to the look. And that, you guys, is my finished holiday makeup and hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!